Hi there, this is Professor McDonald, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to choose the right counting rule when you're trying to figure out probabilities or just how many ways there is to achieve a certain favorable outcome. So I recommend using the process of elimination, and to do that you will ask these questions in order, and you'll see how it works here. Let's see. First of all, you'll ask, does order matter? If order does not matter, then you use the combinations formula. No more searching necessary. So that's the most important question to ask in the very beginning is whether or not it makes a difference what the order is going to be. Or if you could have things in a different order and those would all be favorable to you. So that's the formula, the NCR. In a different video, we'll go over how to calculate that. Are any of the selectable items identical? So you'll have a certain number of items that you're going to either select from or rearrange in some way. And whatever those items are, if any of them are identical, let's say you have like the letters of the word Mississippi, you have two, uh, you have several S's that are identical, some I's that are identical, some P's that are identical. So you would then want to use the permutations formula for permutations with some identical items where the top of it is the total number of items available and the little ends down in the bottom represent the number of each repeated item. Are repetitions allowed? I'm going to say that again. Are repetitions allowed? If you said no, then you're going to use either the NPR formula or the N factorial and that's because both of those formulas require that you are doing selections without replacement. In other words, this is for dependent trials. So in that case, you will use either NPR, which is the permutations formula. We'll talk about how to calculate that in another video. Notice that it's very similar to the combinations formula, except uh, the combinations formula gets divided by a larger amount because you have that R factorial on the end there whereas NP, uh, NPR gets divided by a smaller amount. So which is uh, a smaller over an overall number between these two? Remember, if you're dividing by something bigger, you get smaller pieces. So this is going to be the smaller amount. So when order doesn't matter, we have fewer favorable items to count because when you rearrange items, you count that as the same outcome. Whereas here, we would count, say, ABC, BCA, um, BAC, all different, so you would have more counts. You might also use N factorial. So these are two options that you might be able to use. This one works in any case. This one only works in a specific case. So the next question helps us determine which of those two is best. So will we use all of the items, or are we just going to be selecting some out of all the available items to choose from? And if you said all, you would use N factorial because you'll be doing 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all the way down. That's the fundamental counting rule when you're using all items without replacement. And if you're not using all of them, then you would use the NPR function, which actually starts off with N factorial, and then we divide off some of the excess because we're not going to be using every single item and multiplying all the way down to 1. Five, if the scenario does not quite fit any of the above, use the fundamental counting rule, aka the multiplication rule. And so that just is where you figure out how many spaces you need to fill and how many items you might be able to put in each. And then you multiply those together to see how many possible outcomes you have. And really, um, these counting rules, although we think of them in this order by asking these questions to do process of elimination, it actually builds from the bottom up. We start with the fundamental counting rule, and then as we add conditions like, oh, you're using all without replacement, or you're using some without replacement, or some items are identical, or order doesn't matter, then we keep going uh, to different and different versions. They're just really um, different, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? They're alternate versions of the original. So in this video was just to talk about how to 
actually make a choice. We're not actually doing examples in this video or um, doing the calculations, but we will do those in another video. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.